loves welcome and welcome back to the channel i am amira this is monocopes is soul healing um and this is going to be a message for my soul family for pisces okay so wherever you have pisces in your chart it may resonate keep in mind that readings are general and timing is fluid um i made it to a year okay this month on the channel and um i have you guys to thank for that for your continued support um your likes your subscriptions those of you who reach out for personal readings okay personal readings are going to be on sale in honor of the anniversary so this month they're 50 percent off if you're interested my email's in the description box okay now, Pisces, in this message, we're going to be doing your May predictions, okay? I wanted to do something different for you guys this week. Um, so we'll start off with your theme for the month, and then we will use this deck in its entirety to see what energies, what people, what events, situations, and um, I feel the need to say emotions, okay? You'll be dealing with this month again keep in mind that the reading is general so um not everything that we go through here is going to be something that you're going through and it may be something that you already experienced whereas someone else has yet to go through it okay um so just keep that in mind as we move through the message let's look at your theme knight of cups yeah i guess that's why i felt the need to say emotions huh <laughs> So Pisces, let's talk about the Knight of Cups, shall we? <laughs> um, the Knight of Cups is someone who acts on their feelings, okay? Um, I don't like him in the low vibration, so I'm going to try to stay in the high vibration so that I'm not biased. <laughs> but this is someone who um, has a lot of feelings. They act on them less than, you know, not, not totally mature in their feelings or in their actions so you know he's not perfect or anything but the knight of cups does represent an emotional change as well okay so this could be you guys changing emotions back forth left and sideways and that's why we said what emotions you'll be dealing with um this can be someone who um is receiving or giving a proposal of some sort the knight of cups does um grand gestures um gifts from the heart if you will whether that be in the form of words or um um i just heard something foundational okay so there's some kind of foundational expression or gift that you guys are either giving or receiving this month that that really changes things yeah okay thank you spirit because prior to even turning the camera on um, I was getting this energy of like someone is or people are looking for you or trying to figure out where you are but it's not literally you're you're gone it's just a matter of you going through some kind of significant change and I guess it has to do with your emotional space or how you're acting or how someone is acting toward you perhaps there's something about this that's going on now Okay, I mean, we can't go through all the positive and not go through the negatives, okay? The Knight of Cups, um, in his low vibration, can definitely be someone who is jealous, overly emotional, um, emotionally abusive. Um, he, he's someone who is dramatic as well when his feelings are hurt, okay? This is what the Knight of Cups is in low vibration. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, he can be moody as well. Keep that in mind when you are experiencing these different emotions this month, okay? But let's get started. All right, we start off with the King of Cups, Pisces. <laughs> the Two of Wands and the Two of Swords. Two twos showing up here. That means you have a choice, right? That means you have a choice to go in one direction or go in another. And it has to do with um what you want and how you feel so the king of cups is um someone who is emotionally mature this is someone who is um expressive when they need to be and holds back when they need to hold back they say things um how, they, they talk about how they feel when it's necessary or in a, in a good space the king excuse me the, the knight of cups i need to go back to him for a moment because this is also typically in the knight of cups or sometimes there there are um seahorses represented in the imagery 
and it's because seahorses mate for life. The Knight of Cups can have huge expectations as it pertains to these gifts or these, you know, all this romancing that either they do or receive. And so there's a need to kind of temper oneself um, and remain in control of your emotion. These people and the door slamming, it kills me. Remain in control of your emotions, okay? So that's how we're starting out. Let's, let's keep going. Two of Cups, definitely a significant relationship here. Two of Cups, Knight of Swords, and the Three of Cups. So there's a significant relationship that, that um, is sort of leading this month, if you will, or the, you know, a part of the theme of this month for you. Maybe for some of you wanting to get to this next level of spending time with friends and a significant other, introducing a significant other to family members, um, hanging out more, going on dates, moving in together. The Three of Cups can represent a commitment and engagement as well. But with the Knight of Swords in between, the Knight of Swords can be someone who's impulsive. The Knight of Swords can be someone who doesn't think things through prior to saying them or taking some kind of action. And so there's a need to kind of slow down again in the emotional space and be at a, uh, in a, at a level ground, okay? As far as how you're gonna move from step one to step two. <laughs> Ace of Cups, Seven of Swords, and the Four of Coins. Yeah, a lot of you are in your head about how you're gonna do it, how it's gonna get there. How am I gonna secure this thing or this person, okay? Because there's a lot of emotions um, for, for whomever this is. There's a lot of emotion. Strength card, the Emperor, and the Moon. Some of you dealing with an Aries. Um, again, a lot of emotions and a lot of hidden emotions as well. Someone is holding back. It could be this person. Perhaps this person is not fully expressing how they feel. Um, you see the Emperor holding that sword there. Okay, this could definitely be someone who is holding back, who's not, um, not fully expressing what it is that they feel or not fully accepting of what it is that they feel, okay? Ten of Cups, all these cups, five of coins and the death card. Um, ooh. So there's a significant change that's happening within this relationship or within somebody's life. Here, this could be someone who is um, who is already in a relationship or in, you know need, needs to separate. There's also something about acceptance. Okay, someone is either concerned or um, saying that something needs to change prior to acceptance, like prior to their their family and friends accepting this. There's something about this. There could be someone who's having um, trouble financially as well. Yeah, the hangman, the fool, and the hierophant. Something has to change first, okay? This is what either you are feeling or someone else is feeling. Something has to change first. The hangman is um, a need to make some kind of sacrifice, maybe a need to look at something differently as far as um, your perspective is concerned or theirs and this is how the new beginning comes apart but there needs to be some kind of agreement about this prior to okay queen of swords the lovers and the four of wands um yeah it seems like someone needs to separate from another individual first this could be just a need to heal or um a need to literally go through a divorce and separation um i feel like i, I feel like you guys are getting impatient though if i'm being honest Knight of Cups showing up with the Star and the Four of Cups. Yeah, there's that impatience. The Four of Cups is someone who is not satisfied emotionally with what they have or the offers that they're being given. It's like it's not enough, okay? Again, going back to that Four of Coins that we saw, how do I get to the point where I am, I have what I want and I feel stable in where we are and what I have, okay? There's something about this that you're really... See, but here, here it is, right? The Knight of Cups and the Star. Um, there, there's some kind of overly expressed, maybe, a desire. Um, it seems like someone is reaching really high for a place that they are not at right now. There's something about this, okay? Overly romanticized or, or expectations that are not realistic. There's something about this that needs to be um, reevaluated. There, there, it, it, there's some. There's a, okay, there's a fear of rejection or abandonment here. It feels like that's what's driving this. Yeah, nine of coins, ace of coins, and the hermit. Okay. Um, whoever this is, um, there's a, there, I feel like someone needs to get right within themselves first is what I'll say here. Okay, and I'll leave it right there. Queen of coins, mm -hmm. two of coins, and the page of cups. 
Um, there's some new idea that you have, Pisces, where you're being creative. Um, maybe a new project that you're working on or a, a side hustle, side gig with the Two of Coins and Page of Cups. The Two of Coins can represent um, hobbies and things of that sort, especially next to this Page of Cups. But I feel like it's um, it's allowing you to be creative, okay? And, and uh, bringing in some new sense uh, or some new source of income as well. Yeah, King of Coins, Eight of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. It's allowing you to be super duper creative and tap into your intuitive abilities, all right? Um, whatever this is, it's also allowing you to disconnect emotionally from that last situation that we were just talking about. Not disconnect um, um, fully, but just in a, in a healthier way, okay? Because something about that was unhealthy. Page of Swords, Magician, and the High Priestess. Yeah, I don't know what this is, Pisces, but your intuition is just um, growing and growing and growing, okay, with whatever you it is that you're working on. Whatever, whatever creative endeavor that you are working on or interested in, um, it's allowing you, your intuition to grow in a, in a beautiful way, okay? So just ensure that you connect fully with that. Five of Wands, Nine of Swords, and the Five of Swords here. Two fives. Who are these people? There's way too many people involved here, um, and it's causing you confusion. I feel like you already had the clarity. I don't know what this is. It's something new, but there's too many people involved giving their opinions and, and like, um, I don't know. What, what, is, what is this? What is this? Queen of Wands, King of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. I don't know who these people are, Pisces, but um, I, I feel like you you already, yeah, you already have the clarity here, but it's like everybody wants to be involved or everybody wants to give their opinion on something, but you know what you need to do. You also, it's like, uh, you know, maybe these people are telling you that you need to be more involved in something or that you need to take some kind of action in something. I don't feel like that's the case. Whatever this is, the universe is involved and you can, you can, <laughs> I just heard sit pretty. You can be, um, continue to be patient, con continue to um, follow your intuition with whatever this is because divine has a different plan than than whatever action these people are trying to tell you to take it's too much it's way too much yeah justice card ace of wands and the six of swords you don't need to listen to whoever those people are okay the justice card is coming through just like the wheel of fortune came through to provide you with what you are deserving of Ace of Wands, is, it, it can represent a new idea, a new sexual partner, um, a new desire of some sort. It's something that you're passionate about and it allows you to move forward from, from those people. This is what will bring you the sense of peace. For some of you, this is like um, some kind of, there's some kind of, um, you know, maybe, maybe breaking a law or like really, really, really... Um, uh, backstabbing wrongdoing that occurred back there okay maybe someone leading you in the wrong direction something like this I feel like it gets resolved though and you'll figure out what you need to do from there six of cups six of wands and the knight of coins yeah whatever that was it'll get resolved and you'll figure out where to go from there you're, you're overcoming that competition that battle that nasty nasty energy with the five of swords and five of wands it really didn't like that at all Okay, for some of you, this could be something from your past that's coming to the forefront and finally being resolved as well. Seven of Cups, the Chariot, and the Three of Wands. Um, Seven of Cups is, I just heard maintain. Okay, there's a need for you to maintain your discipline with whatever it is that you've been working on. For some of you, this is, um, um, it has to do with your health. It's interesting because none of these cards represent health, but that's what I'm getting. Okay, it has to do with your health. Main, so maintain discipline with that. All right, make good decisions. Eight of Wands, Five of Cups, and the Eight of Coins. Yeah, you need to, because um, there's something that draws you back in. There's some communication here that brings you to a place of, of sadness, grief, um, and it's, it's like it's trying to draw you back into the past. Don't fall for that, whether it's a person or a thing or just a feeling. Again, with those emotions back forth, upside down and sideways, you need to continue to maintain your discipline and focus on um, your health. And when I say health, that could be physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual, okay? Whatever Whatever it is that you've been working on, you need to maintain your discipline in that area and don't allow this thing to drag you back down to the past. Six of coins, the temperance, yeah, and the tower. There's some some kind of significant um, news or change, okay, that happens here, Pisces. I need you to be prepared for it. I really do because it's going to really challenge you. 
Okay, the temperance card is about maintaining balance, maintaining your posture, moderation as far as your eating, your drinking, your um, drugs, your alcohol, whatever it is that you are, you know, trying to be more disciplined about. You need to really focus on that, even if it's your mood. Okay, again, with that Knight of Cups being your theme for the month, that could be something that you guys are working on this month. And the temperance card is someone who has a steady mood, managing feelings, managing emotions. We talked about that on. Um, that that situation early on with that relationship maybe this is challenging you um again to continue managing your emotions as it as it pertains to that person in that relationship seven of coins page of wands and the knight of wands there's something that you're really excited about some kind of progress financial progress a lot of you um you know maybe there's a gift or something is growing that you invested in it feels like it is actual uh physical finances for some of you this could be um whatever body project you have going on when i say body project i mean uh again pertaining to your health whether it's to lose weight gain weight or maintain your weight okay there's progress though and you're really excited about it toward the end of the month three of coins ace of swords and the page of coins this is you guys receiving um, an opportunity here to um, learn something. What are you learning? Yeah, the world, the Eight of Swords, and the King of Wands. Receiving an opportunity to learn something. For some of you, this could be graduating from school. Um, you're, you're being challenged here, Pisces, though, to step out of your comfort zone as far as um, attention is concerned. A lot of Pisces uh, like to sit in the background, just observe. I'm only here to observe. I'm not here to speak. I'm not here for you to see me. But this is challenging you to step out of that, and, and it's going to allow you to learn something significant. Ten of Coins, the Judgment, and the Ten of Swords. Two tens showing up here with the Judgment card. This is final. Whatever this is, is final, okay? You're making a significant life decision, okay? Again, it has to do with, with you stepping outside of your comfort zone and learning whatever this... Whatever you're learning here, Pisces, is very significant. For some of you, it could have to do with learning when to um, end a situation, learning when enough is enough in a situation. Um, and when I say enough is enough, two things are coming to me. One is is when to cut somebody off and the other thing is when to stop um, like gambling okay for those of you who I hope it's not many of you but that's what I'm picking up okay somebody who has um, a gambling issue or works too much or wants too much okay leave it there nine of wands the sun and the nine of cups wow beautiful we had two nines now excuse me we had two tens now we have two nines this is self actually actualization Ooh. there's something about yourself that you are learning here pisces the sun is clarity it's warmth it's growth it's nurturing this is success it's freedom all of those things the nines speak about um completion this is you getting to the end there's some kind of resolution here as to maybe what you've been afraid of as far as emotions are concerned or why you haven't been content emotionally um within yourself okay confronting something here three of swords seven of wands and the four of swords yeah you're beginning to heal okay you're beginning to heal and it's because you're actually putting effort into it for a lot of you maybe this is something or a part of something that you needed to heal for some time someone that you needed to apologize to or forgive okay i feel like you're addressing it last three ten of wands the devil and the empress wow 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 what a way to end the month, okay? Ten of Wands is someone who's had enough mentally, um, spiritually, energetically. I've had enough because something has become too heavy. Here's this devil card that I've kind of been feeling the entire time here because there's something that you really, really want and you've been working all month to manage it okay to not do anything inappropriate not feel anything inappropriate not say anything inappropriate that's not in alignment with who you are the empress card is someone who understands their value their worth okay and loves themselves and others unconditionally i like the way that you're ending this month especially with the knight of cups being your theme pisces um i hope that something here resonated with you guys i think that this was an awesome message okay don't forget to like this video, um, share the love, and subscribe to the channel. Comment down below. Reach out for a personal reading if you so choose. I love you guys to life, and I'll see you next time for the next one.